Welcome to our discussion on polygons. In this lesson, we will discover what are polygons and classify them by their different names. We'll start off by looking at some examples of figures that are polygons and figures that are not polygons. On the left side, these two shapes are polygons. On the left, we have three shapes that are not polygons. By looking at these pictures, can you distinguish what determines whether or not a figure is a polygon? The shapes below are not polygons. Can you explain why? Well, here are the reasons. In the first shape, this one is an open shape. Notice that the top is not closed. In this second shape over here on the right, the lines cross. And that's the reason why this shape is not a polygon. A third reason why a shape is not a polygon is because this one contains a curved line. By looking at these three examples, can we determine what makes a shape a polygon? A polygon is a simple closed plane figure made up of three or more line segments. Simple means that the line segments do not intersect. Remember that line segments are straight and not curved. Closed means that when you trace the figure, it ends at the starting point. A plane figure is a two-dimensional or flat shape. Polygons are named by their number of sides. The first eight named polygons are as follows. A triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, a heptagon, an octagon, a nonagon, and a decagon. Based on the number of sides, we see that a triangle has three sides. A quadrilateral has four sides. A pentagon has five sides. A hexagon has six sides, a heptagon has seven sides, an octagon has eight sides, a nonagon has nine sides, and a decagon has ten sides. There are more polygons, but these are just the first eight named ones. An interesting fact about polygons. A polygon's number of sides and number of angles are always the same. You'll notice on the left side, we have a triangle. This triangle has three sides. It also has three angles. The three angles are highlighted with a yellow circle. One, two, and three. On the right side, we have a decagon. This decagon is in the shape of a star. If you pause the video and count, you will see that this decagon has 10 sides and highlighted in yellow are 10 angles. Some angles are obtuse, and other angles are acute. Regular versus irregular polygons. If the figure's sides and angles are congruent, it is called a regular polygon. If we look at the hexagon here, you'll notice the markings on the sides indicate that all six sides are the same length. And the semicircles within each angle shows that all six angles are the same measure. Since all the angles and sides are congruent, this is a regular hexagon. The same can be said for this square. While it's not marked, all four angles are 90 degrees. That's the definition of a square. So all four angles are congruent. The markings on the line segments also indicate that all four sides are congruent. And since all four sides and all angles are congruent, this square is also a regular polygon. Another way to classify polygons is by the term irregular. If either the figure sides or angles are not congruent, it is called an irregular polygon. And here we notice that this triangle uh, has different angles and different side lengths, so it is an irregular polygon. There may be some question about this diamond shape here because all four sides are congruent. However, you'll notice that the top and bottom angles are obtuse, while the left and right angles are acute. So this does not have four congruent angles. What do you think about the two shapes on the bottom? Would you consider them to be regular or irregular?